This experiment needs three glass bottles, soil, water, balloons, and a banana and some grapes. Are they having a snack before they start? No, Zoom. That's part of their experiment. We're going to see if rotting food can make enough gas to blow up a balloon. First, Nabila is mashing up the banana. Then into the bottle it goes along with some soil. The soil contains microorganisms that will munch on the food. And finally, some water. So, what's going in the next bottle? Mushed up grapes. Oh, yum! <laughs> then more soil and some more water. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Do you want to do this way? Yeah, um, do this way. Hey, they've forgotten to put food in the last bottle. They did that on purpose, Zoom. It's so they can see what happens when there's no food for the microorganisms to eat. Okay, let's put let's the balloons on now. Yeah. Balloons! Oh, I love balloons! They're stretching a balloon across the top of each bottle. So, yellow for the banana, orange for the grapes, and green for just the soil. And some tape will hold them in place. Now they're going to leave their experiment for a few days to see what happens. Oh, I can't wait to find out! The yellow balloon has blown up. And so has the orange one. Yes. The microorganisms in the soil and the bottles are digesting the food and making methane gas. And the gas is inflating the balloons. But because there's no food in the last bottle, there's no gas to blow up the balloon. Thanks, Nabila. Thanks, Alicia. Now I know how food waste buried underground can make methane gas. Bye, Zoom.